This is the car in question. No, wait, sorry. Hang on. It's easy to be confused. This is it. The hottest, hardest, tightest 911 of them all. And the most exotic. It has the fattest back tyres I've ever seen on a road car. It has scaffolding in the back for stiffness, carbon fibre body panels for lightness. The roof is made from magnesium. So if you turn it over and there are sparks, there'll be a blinding flash of light and then you'll have a convertible. Many people, I don't really like the idea of the Porsche 911, and I certainly don't like the people who drive them. I find them flawed in some dark and rather disgusting way. But I will grudgingly admit that even the basic cooking models are extremely lovely to drive. They're, they're just very good sports cars. But what about this one? Well... Let's find out. Straight away, I can tell you the engine is incredible. There's no turbocharging, it's just a four litre flat six, but you get 500 horsepower and it's redlined at 9,000 RPM. goes round corners. Because it's got four-wheel steering and because the engine is sitting right over the rear axle, the grip is just astonishing. <laughs> I've engaged all the hero buttons down here, turned all the electronic driver aids off and let's see if I can unstick it. In here, far too fast, into Swindon Swings. They're not swings, that's something completely different, but anyway, no loss of traction at all. I thought when I read the spec sheet on the RS that Porsche had tried to make a, a supercar, a rival for Ferrari, and McLaren and Lamborghini, but they haven't. It's still a sports car. It's still chuckable and deft. Oh, it's very, very good. Annoyingly. But is it as good as this? The BMW M4 GTS. Like the Porsche, it's made from exotic lightweight materials and fitted with scaffolding instead of back seats and enormous tires. It looks good, but there are some problems. When you arrive at a small speed hump in the Porsche, you raise its nose electrically and all is well. But when you arrive at the same hump in the BMW, you will need a team of men to fold away the spoiler and adjust the ride height. This takes several hours. There are some other issues as well. To give owners a sense they're driving a racing car, all of the storage bins have been removed. There's no cubby hole here, no door pockets. That means there's nowhere to put anything. And I think that on a day-to-day -day basis, that would drive you a bit mad. <laughs> then there's the ride, which is extremely bumpy, and the drone from the tyres, which is horrendous. 
After 10 minutes on a motorway, you will have a headache. And you won't have any headache pills with you because there was nowhere to put them. Now, at this point, I would normally use the word however and start talking about the car's good points. However, I can't because I'm struggling to find any. The engine, for example, has water injection, which sounds cool. But it means that every third time you fill the car with fuel, you have to fill a water tank in the boot. I don't know, but I'm not sure this is very high tech. And then there's the steering, which in comfort mode is horrid, and in sports setting is even more horrid. That said, the steering wheel is nice. It's good and thick. It's like holding on to something from the Ron Jeremy range. And the seats aren't bad, but other than that, no. A point that becomes even more obvious when you go into battle against the Porsche. We both have around 500 horsepower. Both have a top speed of around 190, but the Porsche is a lot lighter. Probably because it doesn't have a tank full of water in the boot. <laughs> Struggling to keep up now. Here we go into Swindon. Oh, Springs. Pampas Graph shop. Oh, heaven, well, God, that's nasty. This is not a car that responds well to my rather brutal driving style. The problem is. It doesn't really respond very well to delicacy either. This competition here now between these two cars is like a boxing match between an actual boxer and someone who thinks they're a boxer because they're wearing satin shorts. between spiteful and undrivable. Oh, God, undrivable. But that said, this has to be the winner of this test because Richard Hammond has got one of those. <laughs> 